commencing virtuous mission now. Hello, this is Seabass. How are you? I'm doing well. E3 is kicking off next week. But unfortunately, I won't be able to make it to E3 since I'm still in the middle of the production of PES 2012. As a substitution, I wanted to deliver this video letter. From the time we started working on PEZ, our theme was to implement the ideal game experience. In PEZ 2011, we enabled a user to move a player with a ball at his own will. We expanded the user's freedom. However, soccer is a team sport, so the off-the-ball player's movement is even more important than the ball holder's. That's why we decided to especially concentrate on the off the ball, which greatly influences the development as well as the outcome of the game. Your teammates support you to do what you want to do. That's the kind of game we aim to make, and we really want you to check that out at the venue. But of course, if only the offense gained the advantage, you wouldn't be able to enjoy real soccer. So, in PES 2012, we upgraded the delay play, which we implemented in the previous version. And in addition, for the zone defense and man mark to be more realistic, we worked tirelessly on the AI to sophisticate the moves. We believe you'll face tough challenges, especially during a match against the computer. It might even be difficult for you to shoot and score a goal. And that's the kind of realistic experience we're trying to achieve. With the increased capacity of off-the-ball players' movement, as well as the corresponding reinforced defense, I believe you are able to conduct a one-body, one-mind type game. However, that alone makes a game too simple and keeps it at a standstill. So what's necessary is the one-on-one -on -one scenario in the player's technique. In PES 2012, we made improvements on the dribble cross-cuts and the feint plays, making it easier to do and more intuitive than ever. Therefore, unlike any game you've ever seen before, I'm confident that you will be able to enjoy the wonderful development we've accomplished. So, that was a simple introduction of PES 2012. I'm really looking forward to getting your feedback after you play PES 2012. Also, if you become a fan of PES on Facebook, you can find all the latest news, as well as our activities in your local area. So, please join us. Stay tuned for more news to be released. And now, a word from my friend. Bye bye. Hola, soy Leo Messi. Gracias por seguir a Konami en el E3. Te invito a ser fan del PES en Facebook para saber noticias, novedades sobre PES y también de mi fundación. Ah, y bueno, espero que, que no vaya bien en la Copa América y que, que Argentina pueda ganarlo.
んこんにちは。Hello everyone. I'm the producer of Konami's new IP action game Never Dead. Shinta Nojiri. Noji Shinta です。私はかれこれ。I've been working at Konami for 16 years now. I have some new information about the new Never Dead, and I'm very excited to share it with you today. Okay, let's go. We are coming to you today from Oxford, England. Actually, I've been here in Oxford for the past year, along with my team, creating the characters, story, and the unique game design. And today, I would like to introduce some of the new features in this game. Perhaps the most unique feature in Never Dead is the fact that the player is immortal. I would like to spend a good amount of time talking about that today. And here's the team. Initially, I began this project on my own. The first idea I had for this game was to have an immortal player. Even if he loses his arms or legs, they can come back. I just really wanted a main character that, no matter what the circumstance, would never die. And that's where it all began. Well, the story is about an immortal lead character called Bryce. The story starts 500 years ago. 